Feel free to <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, <laughs> I'm fine. It's me. Hi. Hi. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Shall we go? Let's do it. Come by. <laughs> Bonjour. We're here today at the Houses of Parliament, the seat of power of the United Kingdom. And today we're going to race to Brussels in Belgium. We're going to go to the European Parliament, the heart of power over there in Europe, in two different ways. I'm going to be flying on Brussels Air, very appropriate. And I'm going to be taking the Eurostar travelling in the business premier class, so I might get a few goodies on my journey. Ooh, well I know that yesterday my flight took only 36 minutes, so it's a quick one, but I've got a bit of messing around to do at the airports. Liam? Well, mine should be a bit slicker getting through security, but my train's going to be a bit longer, so it's going to be close. Right, are you ready? Shall we go? Three, Three two, two, one, one. let's go! Too many people. <laughs> Honestly, we are actually running quite late, which is why we're sprinting. We're not doing it for dramatic effect this time, are we? No, I think I'm actually going to miss my flight. <laughs> actually trying to make him cross roads at the wrong time. Not that I want him to get injured, but you know, it would help my flight in beating him. Look at this. I'm just jogging. Nicky's sprinting and he's still behind me. This is easy. Winner. Loser. Something not that exciting about getting on the same train. We can't really beat each other unless I was really going to sprint and get on one train before him. He's lost. He's got no idea where he's going. Loser. I guess we're just going to have to be friends, although he does keep running off to try and beat me. Now what I'm really hoping is that I'm just going to jump onto a tube before Nicky does, just to get that little advantage. I wonder if I can just sneak on this head of Nicky. <laughs> I just made it. <laughs> oh, I've got a nice seat on the tube, but unfortunately this guy is still following me. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Ah. One, two, three, go. Ah, loser, loser, loser. Okay, the race has truly begun now. We are at Baker Street Station. I need to take the Bakerloo line. Liam is taking something else. He's doing a weird trot. See you later, loser. I never get to see him racing, usually, but this racing trot is what I'm gonna call it. It's very strange indeed. So for me, it's a very easy change to get onto the Bakerloo line at Baker Street. It's just a crossover the platform. So I'm almost already on the platform here. Wait for this train, get to Paddington and get on that bloody Heathrow Express as soon as I can. Yeah. Got ahead to the Metropolitan line now, which is where Nicky and I are gonna go our separate ways. And I can finally pull ahead in the race. My Metropolitan Line train has now departed. I've only got three stops before I get to King's Cross and Pancras, so not too long at all. Then I can get on with the really fun part of my journey. Okay, well that was a nice, quick, smooth tube journey. No problems at all there. I'm now getting to St Pancras International about an hour and a half before my Eurostar train, which is good because it gives me plenty of time to check in, maybe explore the lounge. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling relaxed. Oh, don't you just love it when a plan comes together? The trains were just perfect. I don't have a lot of times so when I needed things to be like all on time. Three minutes till this Heathrow Express train, straight to Heathrow. I'm gonna have an hour just to check in and board my flight. So this is like, I've timed this perfectly and I could have been in trouble, but I'm not. This is great. Liam, you're in trouble. Well, look at that. That is the business premier queue behind me. And when I say queue, it is completely non-existent, meaning that I get to avoid all of that. So today is one of those days where it looks like my fast track entry with my business premier ticket is really going to pay off.
Okay, so I'm through security. It took me about 10 minutes and definitely would have taken upwards of half an hour if I'd been traveling with a standard ticket today. So very grateful for a very much speedier process. I'm now in the main area, and as you can see, it's pretty damn busy here. There's not many seating options at all. There are some cafes and shops here, but today I've got lounge access and I've never been in this lounge before. And I'm very grateful for that, given how busy it is. So I think it's time to go and check it out. Okay, it's almost 10 o'clock, flight's at 11 o'clock, so this is perfect timing. I've got lucky here, good job I did a bit of running. Something I find deeply unsatisfying about the Heathrow Express station at Terminals 2 and 3 at 5, it's so much nicer. Just a bit rubbish. So I'm just exploring the lounge now, and it's actually quite a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's split across two levels, you've got a smoothie bar, there's cold cuts, there's plenty of drink options, you can make yourself a coffee, grab a beer if you want, and the whole place just feels very relaxing and calm. I like that it's sort of quite long and thin. It's definitely got a very nice atmosphere, quite quiet in here and still fairly busy. On the whole, that was a very pleasant first experience with the Eurostar Business Premier Lounge, a lovely little added bonus to my journey. Okay, don't want to panic, but I've just been happily plane watching, saw a big fat Emirates A380 takeoff, which was beautiful. Looked at flight radar again, and it seems like the flight's now on time, which means I don't have a lot of time. The security looks crazy over there. It is busy in Terminal 2 today, and now I'm a little bit nervous. This is good, boarding has begun. Let's go. Hi, good morning, Hi. Well, we made it safely and quickly onto this Brussels Airlines A320. She's 19 years old, but she's looking pretty fresh. The seat's quite comfortable, all quite basic. There's no IFE here. There's just a tray table right here in front of me. Um, I've got a lovely window view in row four. Um, there is a recline on this seat. Some kind of aircraft like this, you don't always see a recline. And this does something a little inch back, but not much to shout about there. Legroom is pretty decent, actually. Better than you'd see on some airlines on intra-European flights. All in all, a very comfortable way to spend the next 40 minutes. Okay, so the time is 11.04 and we've literally just started moving, meaning we've left bang on time, which I'm absolutely delighted about. Every second is going to be crucial today. And again, one of the benefits of going with the Eurostar over plane is that it's just so much more reliable when it comes to leaving on time. So now that my journey has begun towards Brussels, let me give you a quick tour of my seat. So initially, the seat itself is quite large. I'm not going to lie, it's very firm. It's actually extremely hard. It's got quite a rigid back, which isn't bad for posture and that kind of thing, but even the cushion section behind me isn't that padded. There isn't much recline there and it actually makes the seat probably less comfy to sit on than it was already. So I think I'll put that back to its original position for now. Over my right shoulder, I have this reading light, which you can turn on with a little button. And underneath that armrest to my right, I have a little charging port. Out in front of me, I've got a big tray table here, which is shared with the seat partner in front of me. And then if I pop out this section, you can see it actually expands to a really good size. You can see there's a little bit of leg room underneath, not tons, especially when you have a seat neighbor like I do today, but not bad in terms of leg room. Certainly not a big luxury comfy seat like you might see on other cameras. So I give you the biggest benefit of my business premier ticket is a full three course meal complete with proper cutlery, nice and silver. This is true luxury now. Fifteen minutes late, but we're off. I think it's always important to mention the environmental impact when doing these races. I found out today that one Eurostar journey is the equivalent of 14 flights to Paris. So in terms of going green, this is definitely a more environmentally friendly option. Time to go. Our train has 
stopped temporarily. Please, for your safety, do not try to open any of the exterior doors. Thank you. I cannot believe it. I don't know if you've just heard that on the intercom, but we're going to be held here for 15 to 20 minutes. We are literally right outside the station. Some sort of technical error, I couldn't quite work it out. I cannot believe I made it this close and we're being held now. This could be really costly. Thank you, bye. The true race begins now. I need to get out of here fast. Okay, we're moving again. It might be too little too late, but at least we are moving again. Passport control was super quick, no queue, very jolly immigration officers. I love a jolly immigration officer. It's really like the face of the country that you're visiting, you know? So I've just looked on Google Maps and I just missed the train. So instead, I think there's a taxi rank out here. I'm going to hop in a cab. Oh, here they are. It looks like it's about a 20 minute ride, so that's going to be pretty easy to get to the European Parliament from here. Oh, I do feel sorry. Lots of people seem to have missed their connection into Germany as a result of that delay. But even more importantly, I might have lost the race because of that delay, which, sorry, German travellers, but that is just as important in my books. Final stretch now. We're heading to outside the European Parliament. It's been a pretty clear run all the way there. Now I'm suddenly feeling confident. It's 2.30. If Liam's had any delays whatsoever, I am in with a pretty fighting chance here. I'm really invested. This isn't like last time in Madrid where I thought I was just like gone, lost, no chance. I think we're gonna do it. Okay, so the good news is we managed to jump in a taxi very quickly. Save me a few minutes, fingers crossed, that's enough. Okay, oh, so this is the square, this is what the Place du Le Symbol. Okay, all right, so we're here. Yeah, perfect, thank you so much. Have a great day. Well, that was refreshingly easy. It's never easy for me, how was that so easy? This is the place where we're gonna meet, and do you know what? I don't see Liam. Which means... I'm the winner! I think. Should never count my chickens though, but... I think I've done it. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, 10 minute taxi journey done. I think we're pretty much here. These pretty much dropped us right outside the entrance to the European Parliament. Is this it? Just need to get my bearings, work out exactly where I am. I think we're pretty much here. We're sprinting through now to the main building. See if I can see Nikki anywhere. I can't at the moment. Does that mean that I've won? It might do. No, I don't believe it. Oh, oh, oh I cannot believe it. I am so gutted. How long, how long have we been here for? A good 15 minutes. Oh, the delay. The delay has killed me right at the end. I was also delayed. You must have been delayed bad. About half an hour, yeah. The very, very final bit of my train journey. Poor lad. Oh man, close one. Welcome to Brussels. Thank you. Well, we made it to Brussels. There was one very clear winner this time. I didn't think I was gonna win. It's bloody freezing though. Let's break this down quickly and get on our way. Liam, how was your journey? Well, my journey was pretty incredible all the way to the very end. You know, it left on time. It was super efficient. I had fast track security, which was really useful. I had a delicious three course meal, but speed is the name of the game. And unfortunately that final 20, 30 minute delay has cost me here. Nikki, what about you? It was kind of uncomfortable actually. The service was fine. There was no food or drink. There was a big guy next to me. Sounds like squished up against the wall. We were an hour and 15 minutes delayed. In the end though, I did win. I think we should break down the cost though. Liam, what did you pay? Let's do it. Well, my Eurostar Business Premier ticket was 276 pounds, but it's important to remember that a standard ticket would only have cost 149 pounds. My tube was two pounds 60, and then the cab from the station to here was 10 pounds, making it a total of 288 pounds 60. Nikki, what about you? Pretty expensive, but for me, my flight was 140. I paid 40 for a cab from Brussels airport to here. And then in London, I had to pay two pounds for the tube and 25 pounds for the heater express so all in all that comes in at 208 pounds and 60 pence i think 
207 pounds 60, whatever. Quick math. I'm gonna spend the difference on you now. A little Belgian hot chocolate to warm your cockles up. I think you deserve it. Oh, well, thank you very much. All right, let's, let's go get one. Let's do it.